Hey guys, welcome back to Tales of Asperia. Negative zone? This sure is a lonely place. It's just rocks and mountains, and the wind just sounds so lonely. It feels more desolate the longer we're here. Let's finish up here and get out soon. But the sun is so warm and feels so nice. Well, aren't you optimistic? Oh? But this is the perfect time for a picnic. Maybe we are lucky to have sunshine. I mean, it looks like there could be a sandstorm any moment. I guess we were letting the atmosphere get to us. Come on, it's not so bad. Yes, let's keep going. They sure cheered up quick. Well, I wouldn't say lonely, more just peaceful, you know? I guess when certain situations I'm glass half full and other situations I'm glass half empty. But in those kind of scenarios, I'm more half full, you know, because I definitely value peaceful moments and peaceful areas. That's why I kind of like fog. I don't know. Uh, that That's probably, that might just be a thing with me, but the way I think of it, you know, when... When you're completely surrounded in fog, you can't barely see your hand. Well, not not that much fog. Like you can you can probably see like ten feet, and everything's just you know gray and calm and quiet. I guess it makes the world feel smaller. You know, it makes everything feel a little less scary. You know, now fog in a serial killer slash slasher film scenario. That's not good. But every other time, it's really nice. I like it. Okay, so. Do 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 Oh wait 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 there. Okay. Falling stars! Yeah, yeah, you use your friggin' falling stars, whatever. I just wanna have a non elemented weapon, that's it. That was so Yeah, I know, it was easy. Okay. Bleh. Okay. <sighs> so let's leave. Get the hell out of my way, Rhino! I hate or tired Dilla, whatever. This looks like fun. Do 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 I love how the bees here have bows for butts. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Oh and by the way, if you're uh if you're curious, uh I do not have Tales of Zillia 2. I've not played it. I don't currently have the money for it. I am probably not gonna be able to play that game for quite a long time, truth be told, because there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna be buying here soon. So, yeah, and it's kind of expensive stuff, so it's like, as soon as I get paid, I'll have no money, which is really a shame. Um, I just hope that I'll have enough money to get that, uh, the ultimate skin that, uh, I think Skarner is gonna get. So that'll be really cool. I hope. Well, and the thing is, I don't know if it's Skarner. I heard that Riot teased that a champion... Uh, okay, this is a very complicated teaser so let me let me wait until we're out of this battle before I do it before I say anything now I heard that riot said or they've hinted that a champion with the letter a okay now wait the letter a is the fourth letter in their ultimate uh, that champion is gonna be getting a ultimate skin and I'll oh, <sighs> Finally, halfway up. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Uh, Skarner has Impale, and A is the fourth letter in Impale, so uh, Skarner is a potential candidate for an ultimate skin. So yeah, it's pretty cool. If the air were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. My consciousness. This is what it means to become a spirit. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. Guess she's awake. Um... So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No, I am no longer the Antilochea known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Well... How about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well, that shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. Again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph, would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Intelikea who opposed them. 
and the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochea advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans and defeated him. However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Adafagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry. I have calmed the winds. I believe Ba'ul can reach you now. Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. Uh, call Ba'ul, or call Ba'ul and exit this place? Yes! Get me the hell out of here. Okay. We managed to get the four elemental spirits. Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Atafagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know. Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terka Lumeray's. Even if it is to save the world. We've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Atafagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. Yeah, thanks. I totally forgot where the hell Port Nor is. I want to find out what's happened at Emmet Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. Ugh. God. Okay. All four spirits. Dean, Efreet, Gnome, Self, the spirits of the four great elements have been born. The Entelikea were thinking of the planet after all. I was worried there for a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. You call surviving by the skin of our teeth not too bad? Ha! Ow! A anyway, we can defeat the Autobagos for sure now, right? Not yet. There's still too many unknown variables. 
Hypothesize, test, evaluate, then prove. We have to follow the proper steps to ensure success. I'm not even sure how effective the four elements will be in converting air to mana yet. Wait, could the mana from the loss of materialized air created by the spirits be maintaining the balance? If so, then I shouldn't be measuring the actual value, but... No, that's not right. I mean... Okay, she's gone. Yep, I'd say there's nothing to worry about. Ugh. You know... Never mind. <laughs> Let's leave. Go to Port Nor. Ooh! Is Byl doing all right? You sure he's not getting too tired? No, he's fine. But he's uneasy. What's wrong? The apatheia within him isn't enough to undergo spirit conversion yet. But he knows that someday, he will need to give up his current form and become a spirit. Well, humans are all going to die sometime, but we don't spend every day worrying about it. I imagine some people do. Are you saying Baul is that weak? He's far more delicate than you, Yuri. Dying, in his case, isn't exactly death like we normally think of it, though, right? But it does mean that his consciousness will disappear and be replaced by something new. So it's basically a fear of the unknown. That part of it is actually not too different from us. The other and Delakea have accepted that they must become spirits. They feel it is their duty to maintain the stability of this planet. Baul's got a mission of his own, though, doesn't he? I mean, what about his commitment to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia? The determination necessary for destroying Blastia and becoming a spirit are very different. Baul still lacks the resolve to give up his identity as an Intelikea. I think lacking it is a lot healthier if you ask me. And I certainly understand. He seems pleased that you understand him. Still, I worry about him going on like this. Do you want him to become a spirit, Judy? No, not in the least. But I wonder what the Intelikea, what the spirits themselves must think. What's going on? I'm not sure. Baul and the spirits are communicating. Or something like that, but without using their voices. Yes. What happened? He says we shouldn't worry about him. But what was all that? Hmm. The spirit said something to calm him down. Maybe they told him how easy they've got it. Yeah, probably. At any rate, it's impossible for him to become a spirit now. We're going to have to go on depending on you until the journey's over, Baul. I want you to know you can count on him. It's kind of funny how Baul is a more interesting and developed character than Judith is, in my opinion. I don't know. It's like... It's an, a non-speaking dragon monster that just... Or, well, not really a monster, you know. It's just a non-speaking dragon windfish type creature that carries you around on a boat in the sky and he is a more developed character than judith and he doesn't speak at all that's amazing he only speaks through another character and he already has more characterization than you know he's more human than judith is that's amazing to me this place has become quite a place hasn't it yes it has it's completely empty Oh, quite a place. Has everyone evacuated crossing the Blade Drifts? I think they escaped to Tobikia around Torim. Maybe the ships are back in service now. Anyone would think of running away under a sky like this. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping. Can I join you? Uh, yes. You all wait up at the inn. Okay. Yay. Finally, they're gone. All right. <sighs> now that we're here... Oh, wait, it's only 14 minutes. Okay, never mind. I thought we were at uh, 17 minutes. Never mind. Pollux! Let's go! Oh my god, is this... It's the Nick Cage in! Oh! 300 gold a night. Yay. Looks like the Teagles got away, too. D -d the Cheagles? The, the Cheagles got away? Oh, wait, no. The Teagles. Even with the road through Emmett Hill open, I'm still worried. 
I love port towns. They always have stuff. Even in times like this. Looks like things just might work. What did you buy? One of each formula crest and container parts. What are you trying to do? I'm making a device that will converge the spirit's powers. A kind of makeshift Dane Nomos. Dane Nomos? I wonder what Duke is doing now. I don't know, but he seems totally obsessed. W what's that? Reunited! Judy, what happened? Wait, that's where Ospio is. What's going on? What happened to Ospio? What the hell is that thing? Tarkaron. Huh? The spirits are telling me that's the tower of Tarkaron. Duke, it's gotta be him. He's going to try to use that against the Autophagos. Please, let me through! You, with the long black hair! Do you have a moment? What do you want? Some people with the Knights wanted me to tell them if I saw someone with your appearance. They said they wanted to talk to you about Flynn, the new Commandant of the Imperial Knights. What? I believe you are the right person. Yeah. Hey, was it a girl with kinda cat-looking eyes and a kid with a head like an apple? Huh? Oh, yes, I suppose so. <sighs> so can I wait at the inn? Yes, that's fine. I'll call them. Oh, yay, my attempted murderess, awesome, I'll see you next time.